mid-season finale time. I can feel death looming as ominous as it sounds. All right. We're going to get to find out what happened, Madison. She looks fucking mental. I don't know you, but I saw your vehicle. Gives me a pretty good idea what you're capable of. But that little meaningful click should give you an idea of exactly what I'm capable of. She's got fingerless gloves and all. Me your keys. She's a badass. Who the fuck is this, though? Here you go. Not tossing shit. Is that Al? Fine. <laughs> You shot her fucking cup. Why would you do that? Madison's like, Oh, I didn't mean everything I just said. That wasn't an accident. Is this in a flashback? Is this before Al met everyone? Alright, so this is back to the stadium. So this is a flashback. Oh, the timelines are confusing me. Madison now will come along. Look, lads, we're fine. I'm living with the walkers. Join me, won't you? Is she still hell-bent on filming everything? She's like a fucking daily vlogger. She's like, someday this is gonna get a lot of views. You know how many times I've been zip-tied? Then tell me where the keys are. It's not how this works. You want something, you gotta give me something. Let me film you. Can I film you ransacking my van? I'm making a movie. What are these? It's my porn stash. Back off. But there are people out there who need me. And this truck's gonna make finding them a hell of a lot easier. I move around a lot, so whoever you're looking for, maybe I've talked to them. Or know someone who has. Wouldn't Madison be able to hear that? I tried to do this the nice way. Remember that? You thought, Al. You thought. Madison is so petty. She robbed her box of interviews. Let's clear the path. <laughs> Morgan's like, clear! My time has come! I'm good at this! Poor John, he's all shot. Look at him! I... Don't leave him. I thought she covered his face. She did. Did she cover his face with the blankets? She's like, night, night, go to sleep. There's probably walkers in the fucking infirmary too. Morgan, Naomi, you copy? Okay. They're all right. Oh my god! Seriously? Alicia's looking like a real pissed off motherfucker! I'm guessing she's looking for like Nick's tape or something, Nick or Alicia's tape. She's like, those tapes were so boring! It's an hour of my life, I'm never getting back! He's like, rude. I was just gonna ask for directions. Your tapes are boring, Al. I learned nothing from them. I really don't know who to be siding with here. I'm kind of inclined to sign with, um, Al and all of them. I don't like any of this. They're fighting outside. They're in a tunnel full of fucking walkers. Morgan has a gammy leg. He can still karate kick people. Now, now, this is how fucking T-Dog died. Be careful. Don't be tackling no walkers in tunnels. What? No. 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 It's too early in the day for me to be crying. Don't ruin my fucking makeup, John.
If he dies, I'm gonna fucking wreck the place. <laughs> they got the medical supplies, so like, hurry up, cause he's dying in the van. Okay. Mm, not really rooting for their side at all right about now. Nice try, bitch. Oh. You're up against ballistic steel armor. Stitch welded plates. Shielding layer on shielding layer. This thing is built like a tank in a tank in a bank vault. Oh. That sucks. You always put guns to people's heads to get where you are. She's Madison, so like, yeah. She cuts off heads sometimes too. Okay. So be careful. What happened to your kids? I didn't say anything about kids. Didn't have to. What does any of it matter? Because it's the truth. She's like the fucking X Files. The truth yeah. is out there, and I'm gonna record it. I've been doing this a long time. Since before things went bad. Well, right about now, you're you're filling with Madison's knees, they so really those suck. angles aren't great. I was in this little village on the other side of the world, and there was this warlord fighting on the place. In the end, they didn't need the peacekeepers. They didn't need guns or air support because the truth was the Twisted Round didn't have the army he said he did. They started standing up to him and his boys. Twisted Round didn't last too much longer after that. This is a great allegory, but like, what's the point? The only thing for him was the truth wasn't coming out. Tell me what happened to your kids. I made them a promise about a place where they'd be safe. Don't hurt her. Bitch, the fuck? Why not? Oh, I thought the kid was holding the gun. Wouldn't, wouldn't the walkers be able to get in the door of the van though? Because there's no door. It's safe. You can come out. Why would she lie? If you would have let me get close, I would have definitely punched you in the crotch. Save it. It'll all be over soon. Ah, John, no, you're already shot. Don't get more shots. Come on, Alicia. No one has to die here. Ah. Yeah. Alicia. Shit! I promise them we'd find a place to live. What kind of place? A stadium, of all places. What I was looking for was... It's different. I was looking for a place where my kids wouldn't have to do... What I did to you today. Ah, lads. Ah, no. See, this is why it's great to have short hair in the apocalypse. There's less to grab onto. Ah. Morgan's such a good friend. Alicia. Why is everyone suddenly really interested in her tapes? Amina. Who in the f Who in the fuck? There are certain things you always remember about your kids. You don't need a camera. Mm, shade. We were renting this house in the mountains one summer. I had these big windows overlooking the lake. One morning, a bird flew right into one of them. They named it Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina. Amina for short. Kept her in a shoebox. Nursed her back to hell. So the person Alicia's looking for is a bird? Amina? The bird? Was interviewed by up, Al? They gave it water anyway. Every morning I got up just dreading what I was going to find. And then one day, as I walked down the hallway, I heard something. Chirping. My kids didn't give up on her. 
They should have been vets then. But their lives getting fainter every day we're out here. And I can't. That's the name Madison I'll gave, do so. It takes to keep it alive. She gave a fake name. I was like, I guess my tapes come in useful for something. She never told me her name. Is she dead? Where is she? You gonna stop fighting now? You gonna stop being fucking petty? I'd be very cautious. You don't understand. No, I do. My mom's dead. Because of what you did. What? First of all, when did this happen? Yeah, been doing this for a long time. What did she do? How did she die? When did I she die? Who you are. What you gotta do. This is not who you are. If it is her fault that Madison's dead, I understand why Alicia is acting this way. You helped me. I'm not that person anymore. If someone killed my mom in the apocalypse, I would hunt them down and leave them for dead. Oh, Jesus. Don't. No, don't shoot Morgan. Somebody told me that I would end up with people again, but I didn't believe them. So I ran. I'm going to do it. I have to. Yeah, I am. Standing between your gun and somebody I just met. Things can change. Now that Morgan's making friends again, is he gonna go back to the Walking Dead? <laughs> is he gonna be like, it's alright, I'm okay with being friendly now? I'm not dead. Step aside for your brother. I will not step aside for you. It is still in you. Take the gun off her though, I still don't trust her. Oh my god, I love Morgan. He's such a good man. What a loving little ball of sunshine. I got separated a couple weeks back. Trying to clear a big spot outside El Paso. Why were you? Said nothing's for free. I sent her a down payment. Fires. She gave Madison Not this fun. whatever food that is, and that's how Alicia knew that, that she had met her before. So, does Madison come into contact with Alicia again, or does Alicia just find all the empty food boxes? Madison's like, fuck that, I'm off on a road trip. I got my food, I got my gun, I got my map. Some tunes for the ride. She's gonna do what Morgan did. Go on an adventure and find herself. Food's not the only thing I found out there. What happens? How does she die? This is like agony, having to watch Nick, knowing that he's already dead, watching Madison, knowing that she's already dead, and it's like... Yeah, that's it. We know what happens him, but what the fuck happens her? Yeah? Baseball stadium? Okay, it just clicked into place with me. This all happened all right, before the there. stadium. Alright. You want to bring other people in? You mind telling me what happened to him? Yeah, tell us, please. So John's okay? He's gonna live? June. My name is June. Well, that's my favorite month. It's my favorite month too. My birthday's in June. He's like, yes, we're on a first name basis. I'm well in there. They were surrounded. You could have just drove away, but you chose to sit there in the car like two silly sardines. What was that sound? Uh She said the walls would hold. But they didn't believe her. That's a frightening fucking scene. Walkers that are on fire coming towards you. Like... They don't even need to bite you. If they even come near you, you're gonna go up in flames. We got back to the gate. They opened it. They decided to run. Her community wasn't loyal. They found me in the parking lot. They were closing in on me. They saved me. He really did care for her, though. What happened to fucking Madison? All the people my mom found. All the people she brought in. They were gonna die. When they left, I went back to get supplies. I didn't want to leave. But I knew they were headed for trouble. And when I got back, 
You still joined them. But we didn't see you in the caravan. We thought you were still inside. We thought you died. I thought you died. Everyone thought everyone died, but the only dead one's Madison. What happened to her? We had to clear a path. So that's what we did. But Madison... She had another idea. What? Was she in the path? The fuck is she doing with us? She sacrificed herself to make a path. What a brave I woman. What she was trying to do. I tried to go back. They could have easily distracted the walkers again yeah, though. They could have beeped the hooter and all the walkers would have gone back to the car. Aw, oh, Strand. His hand is all burnt, that's how he got burnt. Just a fucking Pied Piper of the walkers. She's like, come on, bitches, into the stadium. It's showtime. Is she really dead, though? Can you imagine being Alicia or Nick and having to watch your mom fucking die like that for you? The guilt would eat you alive. Honestly, though, I always did say that if I ever imagined Madison dying, that it would be for her kids. I was afraid to lose this place. No one's gone until they're gone. She could have ran away, tried to run up the steps of the stadium or something, or climbed the fence, or done something. God, what a brave woman. Lads, if that was me and that was my mum, I would rip my way out of that fucking car and I would barrel through those walkers. It was never about the stadium. It wasn't about the people. It was about us. So they could live. So we could live. So I could live. So you could live and Nick ended up dying like five minutes fucking later. Poor Madison risked her life for two kids and only one of them survived. Oh. And now all she is is a fucking tape. Her whole life, everything just reduced to a little tape that somebody might watch someday. But man, poor fucking Alicia. She lost her mom and her brother. Like, <laughs> how is that woman still even like sane? I like this scene though, because like the first time she met Madison she was on her own eating noodles by a fire but now she's kind of with all of Madison's family or all of Madison's group eating noodles by the fire. It's so weird, like who's gonna, who's gonna be the leader now? Oh my god that was a lot to take in.